I think it is good for us people that work from home as freelancers to lend our tips and to really just kind of just give people advice on how to work productively. Hi guys, I'm Katie Bilotti and I'm with The Green Room. I'm a New York City based podcaster, Instagrammer, YouTuber, freelance designer, and freelance video editor. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about how I work from home. I think anyone could, I mean, anyone's probably struggling right now. It's definitely different being a freelancer and a YouTuber and all the things that I do, but I think just any sort of change in the news just in the vibe of everyone on social media it'll definitely lead to people feeling a little uneasy i think as a freelancer and as someone who already works from home anyway it hasn't really changed the way that i've worked but i think it is good for us people that work from home as freelancers to lend our tips and to really just kind of just give people advice on how to work productively because it definitely is challenging when you're in a place that, you know, before was just your home, you know, your bed was where you slept, that sort of thing. And now it's becoming workspaces. So I definitely think it's, it's it hasn't been an adjustment for me really, but for other people, I can see why it's been such a big adjustment. So personally, as a content creator, I've had to kind of shift my content a little bit just to make more sense for people because there's a lot of things that, you know, us as bloggers and YouTubers, we plan so far in advance. We plan a lot of our brand deals, a lot of our YouTube videos. And by the time they roll out to the public, you know, it could be a month after we initially shot that stuff or worked on that brand deal. And there's been a few things that I've had to kind of pull because it just feels insensitive at this time, just putting out some certain things I was gonna work on, some videos I was putting out. That's definitely been a challenge, but I think overall, I mean, it's been a time where I've been really focusing on my creativity since a lot of my, just of course the in-person meetings and the things I was doing out and about are no longer happening. I've had a lot more time to really focus on the things that I've been putting off. So it's definitely been a shift in things, but I think overall I, my productivity hasn't really changed as much. So I think now that, I mean, most of our social interaction, most of our day-to-day -day is spent on our phones, a lot of us, I've been trying to, you know, cut back and read some more books and things like that. But at the end of the day, it, it is my job and a lot of us are just love it, lovers of social media. I do feel a little bit of pressure with my own content, with other people's content, because I'm seeing just, I mean, there's just so much content now, especially now that everyone's really on their phones and they're making TikToks and they're making Instagram accounts and like all this stuff. And in that, I, I find myself comparing myself and I don't have as much distraction now, I feel like. I, you know, cause I was in the city, I was running from meeting to meeting, going to events, hanging out with my friends. And now I don't really have that. So all of my focus is on content creation and on the internet. Cause for me, you know, I, I think of something, I develop it, I really work on it and then I put it out. And I feel like now that's not really how things are going. So it's challenging me a little bit. And just to answer the question of my mental state, I find my anxiety has been just super heightened because you don't know really just how much more time we're gonna have doing this. And that's just kind of uncertain for me, especially because my cute apartment is by itself in New York and I'm sad about it, I, you know. But overall, I, <clears throat> I'm staying positive. I'm trying to lean on other people and it's nice being home with my family who's super supportive, so. I find for me, I'm a really big to-do list person. I've been creating these notes in my, just note section of my phone that what I do is kind of around like Saturday, Sunday, I plan out the next week in terms of just the big action items for each day. And I, I found that it's easier if you don't just, you know, overwhelm yourself with just very granular to-do things. I kind of break out each day with two main accomplishments, but I think just kind of limiting yourself and knowing that you can't do everything, you can do anything, but not everything. And I've learned that the hard way because I have definitely overwhelmed myself with really crazy to-do lists. So just kind of condensing your to-do list to something that is manageable for you and also, I found that scheduling in breaks throughout the day is absolutely essential because when you have time, an actual, like an hour in your schedule that is bracketed out for 
just mindless entertainment. I think that's the way that you get through your to-do list with a better mindset and not feeling like you're overworked. I also think just coming up with a workspace in your apartment or in your house, that is your workspace. I recommend not having it in your bed because your bed is where you sleep. And I found that my anxiety and just like my sleep has been really disrupted by sleeping in the same place that I'm working because the stress is just like a stress area, I feel like sometimes. Um, so finding a space that is your dedicated workspace is super important and it could just be i don't know sitting on the couch with the coffee table or something but just finding somewhere that is your workspace and your workspace only is super important as well so i find those are like my two biggest tips i think 